Gonna make a cake? Mm-hmm. There's snow all over us! This is so yummy. I'm having so much fun tasting all the things. So poor Janae has been really boogery. She has a cold and she's just got lots of snot. So it's making it hard for her to sleep and eat. And when I was at the store yesterday, I picked up one of these things. It's called the snot sucker. That's just a cool name, but it's a weird device. So we'll see how it works. You literally put it in the kid's nose and suck the snot out? That sounds like a job for Jeremy. <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> Just a brave dad. So the honest truth of it is that I'm not brave enough to try this thing, but Jeremy is. I want to suck boogers out of my kids' <laughs> I'm going to read the instructions. This is something you don't want to get wrong. Yeah, what is that thing? <laughs> so there's like a filter so no boogers will come right into my mouth. Or is this the snot chamber that fills up with snot? Let's try this thing. Oh, I don't know if she's going to like it. Did you get anything? I don't know. It's like a parent musical instrument. She's not as bothered by it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> wow, she's, she's way like calmer. Smiling. Normally this is like, a the thing goes all the way up into her brain. <laughs> and then I suck it's out. It's all traumatic. Her. Usually she's screaming, but this she seems to kind of like. <laughs> Insert into the nasal cavity. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna call this a huge success. Janae seems to like it a lot better. Usually she's screaming and we got a ton of snot out. The question is, is which parent first tried this without the filter? Like, with, <laughs> I'm just gonna suck with a straw. So we've had five kids, right? And Isaac is nine. And some of the baby stuff that's out now wasn't invented when he was a baby. So we tend to just do what we know. Like we've always used these little devices. This thing is actually really cool. I guess we can teach an old dog new tricks. Are we old dogs now? Is that what we are? I guess so. How do you like that snot sucker? So Janae came crawling over like wanting to play with it more. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I know. Poll question, would you be brave enough to suck snot with the snot sucker? Let's see that smile. So what happened last night? I lost my teeth. So I was brushing my teeth and I noticed my tooth is gone. Then <laughs> here it is. So, what's it like to eat? It's hard to explain. And this morning, it was hard because I wasn't really experienced with eating. I just went like this. Like eat on the side. Yeah. We're having leftovers for lunch today. There's no teeth there. No, no. Do you want more Nene? More grapes? Okay. So a hawk came and it got some food. We have had so much fun with the birds out here that we just are spreading out the bird seed all over so that birds can eat at more than just the bird feeder. Birdie? Well, this little girl is sure getting adventurous. I just was working on math with Elise and all of a sudden I'm like, wait a minute, where is Janae? And we go running in and find her playing in the toilet in the bathroom. What were you thinking? <laughs> so I get to have a few moments just to myself today and I'm really looking forward to relaxing. I'm going to take a hot bath and use one of these things. This is a bath bomb, but it's shaped like a cupcake, which I think is super cute. I got it from Bath and Body Works. And the smell is a thousand wishes. It smells really good. What's going on? They're washing our car.
was fun. So Kendra's feeling a little stressed today. We thought we'd pick up something that would bring her great joy. Thanks to you. What was that? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Say excuse me, you sickos. Excuse me, you sickos. <laughs> <laughs> These kids. So Isaac, pick the flavor for us. What kind did you pick, Isaac? Strawberry and kiwi, it's really good. We're doing quiet time right now for the kids. Let's put the bookshelf back up. Yeah. Is this what you're doing for quiet time? Mm -hmm. Making some more bracelets? Mm -hmm. There's a whole book. Uh. Did you make her a bracelet? Mm -hmm. You did such a good job making that. I remember when you first got that toy and you couldn't figure it out. Mm -hmm. Now you make them all by yourself. You like the stairs. <laughs> Sit down. This was one of your birthday presents, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm excited. You gonna make a cake? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. Oh, wow. Here's a cake, people. Ooh. Whoa, that's cool. Look, these might be able to hold the wings right there. Oh, yeah. This is like the cutout thing. Is that all the cake mix? The yeah. frosting and the decorate. Is that the cake stand? Mm -hmm. I thought we did it when the cake was there. Insert doll. Is it a twisty thing or do you just stick it in? There you mm -hmm. go. Nailed it. All right, what's the next instruction? One, two, three. Good job. That's probably enough. And then give it a shake. Are those the pictures we took? Mm, at San Diego. San Diego. So our photographer sent us this cute little book that has a bunch of the pictures we took. <laughs> that was such a fun trip. I want to go there again soon. Yeah, that would be fun. I just got back from the gym. How was it? It was a short workout, but it was good. Someone missed you. It was better than nothing. Some days I really don't want to go to the gym. Hi, baby. Mm -hmm. When I'm feeling really anxious and depressed and overwhelmed, the last thing I want to do is go work out. But if I can just get myself to get there, I always feel better afterwards. So it was a short workout. I didn't work out super hard. Like it was just 20, 30 minutes of just on the elliptical, but I feel better. So looking at this photo book from our trip makes me really want to work on getting baby books for our kids. We have all the pictures, but I've never made them into actual baby books. So I want to do that. So now we're mixing up the fondant with some water. We were concerned because it looked blue, but with the water it's starting to look green. Yeah. I don't see how four teaspoons of water is gonna be enough. Me neither. I think it needs a little more water. Is that the fondant? Mm -hmm. it smells good. Mm -hmm. So we're just cutting off the very tops, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Shall we pop them out? Mm -hmm. Do you want to do it? <laughs> Let's put fun in on. Maybe that'll make it look better. We are yeah. getting creative. You did it! Once you cover it up with the fondant, it'll just look perfect. Hopefully. <laughs> it looks 
easy, but it's actually really hard. We just stick her in. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go. It's like a tankini. There's a top <laughs> half of the person and a bottom half. So what we can do is put it in between. Yeah, like decorate it. You can either roll it like a like a worm, maybe. We see that actually looks really cute. Like I know it didn't turn out just like we wanted it to, but look. Well, at least it's gonna be yummy. Yeah. You guys, we have gymnastics in like five minutes. Get your gloves on for gymnastics. Yay! Come on. So because Kendra's gone, we get done with gymnastics. I'm trying to have the kids eat real quick, and then we gotta go to violin and drop off Isaac. Come on, you guys, we gotta get in the car. All right, come on, hop back in the car. In the car, everybody. All right, let's go. So tonight I'm meeting with my good friends to plan our summer camp for this year. And this is our sixth year in a row doing summer camp. We do it on just fun different topics like Legos or the five senses or the ocean. And so we're meeting to have dinner together and chat about what the plans for this year will be. Success, we picked a theme for this year and I am really excited. The activities and the projects and the field trips, it's gonna be awesome. And now I just can't decide if I should tell you guys the theme or not. Should I tell you? Hmm, I'll just say it and then if Jeremy wants to edit it out, he can. Our theme for 2018 summer camp is space. We're gonna do a space camp. It is gonna be awesome. Think galactic slime, glow in the dark awesomeness, you know, going to an observatory, anti-gravity. It's gonna be good. We're finishing the night at an awesome frozen yogurt spot. They're having a great sale, so we have to come. Okay, so these are my summer camp friends. You guys remember them. Anyway, we just saw a sign. There's a cookie dough bar here. I am so excited. This is so yummy. I'm having so much fun tasting all the things. So I used this divider and I got the cookie dough and some yogurt. So here's my consensus on the cookie dough. I did like it with the yogurt, but it's too rich all by itself, and I really like rich stuff. So I did like it, but I think it's better as maybe a topping. Good night, JSL. I'm so glad that we vlogged to document important life moments like this one right here. More. More. Hi. Did you move all of these yourself? <laughs> 